All right, guys, day two. So, like I said last night, we're gonna finish up uh, putting the uh, chassis support rods on there, as well as the other eye bolts up into that uh, bumper support, so we can um, safely secure that front splitter so it doesn't go anywhere. So, let's get started. Hello? There's Annie, the girl. All right, guys, so what I did was I measured where, I got one over there, I measured where it was gonna bolt up to the uh, bumper support and I made sure it was even. So for mine, it was a uh, six of these little riblets in from the outside. And here you can see where I have it mounted up. And then from there, the, uh, there's that. Support rod will mount to there and mount to the splitter. So the way I measured it was from underneath. Okay, so now I'm upside down. And there's the bracket. And I held it up, made sure it was even. And I put tape underneath there. And I sharpied where to drill the holes on both sides. So now I'm gonna remove the front fascia again and uh, drill these holes, put the front fascia back on, and then bolt these up. But not before I finish doing the wire, which I'm gonna run from the far sides up to here. So I still need to figure out exactly how I'm gonna do that. But let's finish up. Alrighty, got everything drilled out and mounted. Let me lay down here. As you can see, I added some washers. Did the same on the other side. What I did was I drilled one hole, inserted the rib nut, and insert, put this piece on, inserted one screw, and then drilled the other hole while this piece was still in there, so I knew they were gonna, you know, fit perfect. And uh, it's not going nowhere, I still got a little tape back there. So now we're gonna fit on the bumper, put these uh, support rods on, and then measure where we're gonna drill the front splitter. So let's get started. Alrighty, guys, so you can see I've got the support rods mounted up, nice and tight. Brings up the splitter forward a little bit, or up, I should say. Now, for the eye bolts to do this wire, to attach to the splitter, I got kind of lucky and I found this spot in the frame of the car. So I put a washer, put the eye bolt through, put another washer, a locking nut, and a nut on the end. And the wire's gonna go from here down to this eye bolt. Where is it? There it is. So it'll keep this nice and tight and bring up this back end. Keep everything nice and tight and sturdy. So, here I've got the, uh, I've got the wire here. So I already ran the stop through it. So depending on what size wire you get, you're gonna need that size stop so it fits right through. And you're gonna need one of these fancy tools to crimp it closed. So I'm gonna measure everything up. Get my distance from top to bottom, make sure it's nice and tight and crimp everything up. So I'll show you guys what that looks like here when I'm done this. All right, so here's what I made. Took the wire, ran it through the eye bolt. I actually removed it from the bottom of the splitter, ran it through, put it through the, uh, I think they're called swags. And then I've got this adjustable, I don't know what it's called really, but it's kind of like the rod end splitters, uh, support rods, you can adjust them. So I set it all the way loose, that way I can tighten it and build that tension up on it. So the last one I need to do is run a wire from here to the top eye bolt on both sides, and then we'll tighten it up. All right, guys, so here's the final product. Got an eye bolt up top, the eye bolt in the back, good tension. You can actually turn this and tighten it more. I think that's good right there. Keep this nice and planted. We got the front support rods in place. Also mounted real soon, it's not going anywhere. Come up to the other side. You can see I did the same thing here. The eye bolt over there, it's all tightened up. I think next time I'm gonna make that a little cleaner, but for now it's perfect. All right guys, so for this project, the front splitter all together, the way I did it, mounting up that uh, high tensile uh, strength wire on there, uh, definitely helps to get two people, extra set of hands. I think it made it way easier. There were some spots in there where I just, I needed Ashley on bottom to uh, tighten bolts. Um, and some of the spots were just hard to squeeze your hands into for my car anyway. Uh, but for the most part, pretty straightforward, not too difficult. So I really hope this video uh, helps you guys out. So what's next for us today is actually a tow hook front and rear. 
So let me go ahead and show you guys what we got. All right guys, so today we've got the Z01 add-ons tow hook. We've got a rear tow hook and a front tow hook. And it's just a small difference in the threading from what I was told online. Probably can't even see it. And then of course you have the receivers, which we need to put on the car. So we got Ashley over there. Uh, she's helping me take off the front bumper again. And we will mock up where this front tow hook will go. And then we'll go from there. Stay tuned. working pretty fast and it's coming out right here, the receiver for the tow hook. So I cut out this very first grill piece and I'm actually just gonna have to cut a little bit up there and the tow hook will come right out of here. Let's see if I can see how it did it underneath. It's pretty similar to how we did the uh, front splitter support rods. And you can see it's right next to it. But measure the first hole, drill it, put the uh, plate on and then uh, drill the second hole. So yeah, almost done. Just need to cut out a little bit of this right here and uh, the front one will be done. All right guys, so that's the final product and uh, it's not going anywhere. So it actually wasn't too hard the way I did it. Um, I just used kind of like a Dremel and uh, cut away a little bit of plastic at a time and it, it really didn't take much. It was pretty much almost lined up and I kind of like how it's in this corner pocket and I didn't have to cut or drill a hole into the orange part of the bumper cover. So I'm actually really pleased with that. So I'm gonna finish buttoning everything back up and then we're gonna move on to the back. Got my little helper. What are you doing, baby? Oh, that's stuck. So we're gonna go up underneath the car and we're gonna tighten up that, those cables, huh? Yeah, we're gonna tighten up that things. All right, pro tip here. So when you do take off the front bumper or if you ever do take it off or you need to get behind this fender liner, uh, there's plastic rivets here that I drilled out, if you guys remember. So ahead of time, I went and ordered a plastic uh, rivet gun from Amazon. It came with a bunch of rivets. It actually comes with the uh, size you need for the fender liner. And while I'm here, I did rip off a mud flap. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this mud flap. I already ordered those as well. And the one on the driver's side is cracked as well. So I'm going to go ahead and replace those with some new rivets, some new mud flaps, and it'll be all squared away. All right guys, so moving on to the back of the bumper. Um, I removed some nuts under here and I can see uh, the bar where we're gonna put the uh, bracket onto to put the tow hook receiver. But I'm gonna try and remove this top part uh, so I can see it better because I only want to drill one hole in the rear cover. And I kind of want it around there or at worst right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sort of, you know measure twice, cut once and go from there. So I'll let you guys know what the best avenue approach was for me. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so the easiest way was just to uh, take the uh, rear cover off. Um, it was some push pins right here. And then it was a, I think it was an eight millimeter bolt right here. And then you wanna pull up. And then you also wanna make sure you get the plastic rivets out of here. Of course, like I did the front, I got new ones, so I just drilled them out. And they're just one plastic clip, just like the ones up top, only right about here. Uh, you wanna make sure you unplug the main body harness that goes to the rear reflectors and that's it you just pull it backward and then set it somewhere safe so it doesn't get scratched up so now I'm trying to figure out where it would be best to hook up this uh, tow hook symbol all right so we figured out that the easiest way was to actually completely remove the rear uh, crash bar crash bumper whatever you call it completely remove it and it was a lot easier to put that sucker in, which is the receiver, because there's not a lot of space in the back, as you can see, to put a wrench in a socket. So the best way was to completely remove it and then uh, use two people. So of course I had Ashley hold uh, a breaker bar with a socket and I had a ratchet on the other end and I screwed it on. So now we put everything back together and yeah, you do have to make a little hole in this black uh, trim piece cover, but it's not so difficult. It's it kind of falls apart real easy. So now we're gonna put the cover back on and drill the smaller hole into the cover and put the receiver in and wrap everything up. So we're gonna finish that right now. All right guys, so it's the next day. Everything went according to plan. Everything's buttoned up. There's a tow hook as you can see it right there. Uh, the trickiest part is definitely drilling that hole into your bumper cover because you don't wanna drill the wrong hole and then you end up having to drill two holes. So just be careful, uh, measure twice and cut once. So let me show you guys a close up of what it looks like. So here's the back of the Challenger. This is the tow hook that's in the back. Um, you can kind of see up close where I cut um, some of the paint's chipping away, but uh, it's all right for now. I'm not really too worried about that. 
Uh, I'm going out to the front of the car. I'm actually really pleased with the way this one came out. I think I mentioned that in the last video. Uh, it came out of this corner pocket. So all in all, front splitter is installed, tow hooks are installed, uh, front splitter is nice and sturdy, it's not going anywhere. So a lot of work. Oh yeah, and the front grill. Change out the front grill. Uh, you can kind of tell on camera, but it's not chrome, it's black chrome. So give it a little more of that subdued look. So overall, pretty happy with everything. I uh, got a new look to the car. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. And if you guys want a splitter, a uh, wicker bill, uh, MFR Engineering definitely has what you need, as you guys can see. It's not hard to do. And if you're thinking about doing the uh, tow hook mods, you already know is the one add-ons uh, for challenges, at least. I know that uh, their kits are really easy to use. If you just follow my video, you'll see it's really not hard. And if you like videos like this, uh, how-to videos, uh, you know, comment below, hit that like button. And if you could, please subscribe so you don't miss anything. And uh, we'll see you next time.